Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ian again. Um, and welcome guys back to my channel. If you guys haven't subscribed before, make sure you do that. Subscribe up top. Yeah, don't forget to comment and like down below. Um, don't forget to check me out on all the social medias. That's everything is at E London TV. That's the Insta, Facebook, Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. That's all at E London TV. Um, yeah, right about now. I'm on my way to go check out Cowboy Cottage Pie. It's a um, stool down in Camden Market. You guys gonna follow me? Let's check it out. Let's see how it is. All right, let's go. Who remembers this this point right here from that Fuse ODG video and and what's that song? Um, Shibada Dan Ba. And the girl's dancing right here, and then the, and then the camera just like kind of pans over there on the random thing. Anyway, about to hop on the train. shop is where I used to come I used to got my first pair of wallabies anyone who remembers wallabies who remembers wallabies back in the day they used to come they used to got my exclusive wallabies I thought I was bad yeah over four feet in Camden Camden used to be the spot looking for the Camden on Mark I think I found where I'm supposed to be going Looks like I finally found the store that I was looking for. Oof, it's been, I've been looking about this market for about 10 minutes. I've seen so much good food. Um, yeah, I'm about to go check it out now. See how it is. Let's go. So, um, how did you start Cowboy and Cottage Point? Uh, I used to live in Louisiana uh, when I was about 24, so 10 years ago, when my age. And uh, I, when I was over there, ate a lot of sweet potato, ate a lot of food that's like this, ate a lot of barbecue, um, and basically learned to cook all the food that I really liked that was from there. So when I came home again, I brought those flavours home and decided to mix it up with some English food and create a fusion. So that's how we've got cowboy cottage pie. So this is basically beef, bacon and beans. Cool. And it's got uh, a sauce that's made with 10 different ingredients. Um, it's got molasses in it, it's got sweet chilli, but it's not a hot chilli, it's a smoky barbecue chilli. You can always add hot sauce at the end. Okay. So it comes with sweet potato mash, and that's like a cottage pie. Okay. Which is why it's called cowboy cottage pie. Oh, it comes with these, which are corn dippers. So this is cornbread that's made in a waffle iron. And you dip it in the chilli, and it's got this zingy Creole salsa on top, which is made with sweet corn, tomatoes, coriander, red onion. Uh, it's got lime juice and salt in there as well. Or it comes with nachos, because everybody loves nachos. So it's just got some salad, some nacho chips, some of the chilli, and again, some of the salsa on top. Cool. So, um, how do you make your chilli? The way the chilli is made, the first thing that goes in the chilli is the most important thing, which is the bacon. Okay. You never have enough bacon. So it's a uh, smoked back bacon. Uh, which I then mince to uh, to make little bits of it, which can go in with the, the beef mince. So the bacon mince goes in, that gets fried off till it's browned. Then I add um, half a kilo of onions in there. Um, so really finely diced onions and cook those in with the bacon. Uh, then I add uh, three kilos of uh, British minced beef. So it's a beef haunch from this area. So it's a nice succulent beef. Um, it's about sort of 5% fat. Um, so it keeps all the flavor in there. And when that's all cooked down, um, I add in the sauce. Uh, and after the sauce has gone in, I add in all the peppers. Um, when the peppers are all cooked in, then I put in uh, the last thing, which is baked beans. Ooh. So the other thing that I add on the top of there as well is, uh, is a barbecue glaze. Now this is um, Jack Daniels barbecue glaze. How so do you make it? It's made with bourbon, 
uh, dark brown molasses sugar, uh, whiskey, water, and onion powder and stock. Wow. So it does have beef in it as well. Nice. You should never have too much beef. <laughs> or whiskey. Or bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's boiled down just for 45 minutes, all in a pan together, until it's gone thick and syrupy. So it's really like a preserve, like a jam. Nice. Um, and then it goes in one of these, and it goes into the beef. This, wow. this is basically cornbread mix. Um, it's sweet corn, uh, maize meal, uh, everything is gluten and dairy free. So this has um, dairy free um, fat in it, so like a kind of margarine which gets melted in. Um, it also has a gluten free flour in it, not too much because it's got the maize meal. Um, and it all gets whizzed up together with a bit of sugar and a bit of salt. And then it goes in here into a waffle iron. So you can actually cook it in the oven as well. Um, and it cooks into a big loaf. But the reason I do it on a waffle iron is so it makes these great dippers that you can just dip in the chilli. Um, and also so I can cook it here at Camden on the store. So everything is basically cooked right here in front of you. Everything is cooked here fresh every day. So how long have you um, been at the market for? I've been here now for a year and three months. So how's business been in the, in the past year? It's been alright. The winter's hard. I won't lie to you. It's cold here. When it's minus three and you sit here and there's no one around, it's not a nice job. <laughs> um, but I do it for the love of the food. You know, I have regulars that come back here time and time again. Um, there's a lot of people who work around here who come for lunch. So they're always here, come rain or shine, they're always coming for lunch. Okay, so I'm going to do your box with everything. Is there like cilantro in it? Yep. Love it. Hmm. Right, let's get into these. These are really nice. Okay, there's so much here. I don't know what to. I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, I'm about to get into the chili now. This is definitely my favourite. It's got so much flavour in it. Quality beef, chilli, the Jack Daniels sauce is amazing. Loving it. Can't stop nodding. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I recommend Cowboy Cottage Pie to anybody. Okay, so I had to sit down and get into it properly. Let me show you exactly everything that's in here. So the, see the chili there. The chili is the best thing by far. It's amazing. It is so nice. It's got like a little hint of spice. Got the quality British beef in there. Absolutely amazing. The little cornbread waffles as well. They're really sweet. It tastes so good. The salad is fresh. Nachos on point. Jack Daniels sauce, you know, I think I'm gonna have to ask for some more Jack Daniels sauce. It's so nice. So yeah, just tell me about what you were doing before and how you started the store. So um about yeah, yeah, well, just over a year and a half ago, I was I was working in town, I was working as a finance analyst, um, I was training to be an accountant. Um, but the more I did that and the harder I worked and the more stressed I got, the more I realised that actually my real passion was food. Um, I started food blogging. Um, I had this blog which I was completely dedicated to. I was cooking new recipes every day. I was blogging pretty much every day. Um, I started a food club, so there was like 12 of us. We'd go out and have all these different food experiences and try new foods and cook new foods. And it just took over my life. And I realised actually, if that's what I'm passionate about, what the earth am I doing sitting in an office? <laughs> it just made no sense. So, um, so I jacked it in one day, just quit my job, and that was it. Decided to sell food. Definitely recommend Cowboy Cottage Pie to anyone at Camden Lock Market, look out for it. Don't forget to subscribe up top, comment and like down below. Peace.